Good evening, welcome to my midweek recap here and plan ahead for Apple. Try to make this a little quick. Uh, so far, I've caught myself over trading a little bit here this week, uh, watching the five minute time frame a little bit more than I should have. But uh, I'll go ahead and go through the plays that I have taken so far. If you remember from my previous video, I was looking for this trend line to hold support as well as the 8 EMA over here on the daily time frame. You can see price action hit it on Monday, bounced around, provided a nice uh, couple opportunities here. It looked like it was going to hold support. So first of all, in the open, I got in 180 calls at 67, trailed me out on a reversal red candle break below VWAP at 60 cents for a small little loss there. Later on in the day, price action looked like it was going to reclaim this trend as well as the 8 EMA. So I took some 2 February 180 calls at 275 got out at 281. On the five minute basis there, it actually did look like it was going to reverse there at the VWAP, which prompted me to close up position, ended up leaving some change on the table there. Could have been a nice game. Into the close of the day on Monday, I did go ahead and take some uh, some calls to hold overnight. A nice pattern here at the 8 EMA, as you can see again. It was right here on 176.85-ish area, which is right at the low of here. I uh, got in 180 calls at 50 cents. Price action gapped up, ran, and closed them out at about 75 cents for almost a 50% gain. Now, some other guys in the uh, trade crew chat room were in some better calls, made a little bit more of a profit on that one. Uh, but overall, still a good day, nice move up, and ended up leaving some on the table. Now, as price action came back down to the 8 EMA again around this 176.80 level, I got in the 177.5 calls at 115 provided a red reversal type of candle here at this 8 EMA and prompted me to close that position out as it turns out was a good move as it came down Wednesday and price action opened up broke down this pattern took out the 8 EMA came down took out the 21 EMA as well at the 175 30 level uh, took a few trades here today first one <clears throat> the first test and uh, sub Implied support at the 21 EMA. I got in some 2 February 190 calls at 50 cents. These actually trailed out way down here at 40 cents. Uh, it took a while for the, the price to actually reflect the change in the share price. But anyways, it ended up being a loss. Got in another position in that meantime there. Uh, had a nice green 15-minute ha hammer candle there. Got in some uh, sec uh, 2 February 175 calls at 425. And those trailed me out at $4 down here once it started to break down. Price action came down, tested the next important level, which is the 50-day simple moving average, as well as the top end of this flag, and looked like it's holding support now. There's a tremendous amount of volume on the daily time frame, and I'm holding a position overnight for a potential move up higher. Uh, that position is the 9 February 177.5 calls here at 320. The stop loss is down here below this 173.15-ish area. We'll see if that does hold. Um, as I mentioned, there's a tremendous amount of volume here. A lot of participants were trying to capture uh, support at the 8 EMA, support at the 21 EMA. Once they broke, stop losses were triggered. Market makers probably saw that, ran right through them, and now they're going to continue to do whatever they wanted. Um, may dip down a little bit further going into earnings. Maybe the you know there's a big player that wants to get some shares cheap or maybe some cheap options. Um, whatever the case may be, we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. But I am holding this position overnight. Now on to my plan for the coming days here on Thursday. I uh, have the new levels up here as far as the 8 EMA, 21 EMA, and the 50 SMA. As you can see, price action came down and touched it almost to the penny. If price action opens up lower, holds around this level, I can uh, assume that's going to be held as support unless there's a strong move below it, at which point I will add into the position I'm in versus the low. If price action gaps up, I will just simply sit on my hands, wait and see what it does after the opening five, maybe ten minutes of the day, and see if it's something worth trading as far as a gap and go. If price action starts to take out the 21 EMA here and the 8 EMA, it is going to imply that shorts are having to cover their position and uh, may continue higher, push up to another all-time high. It's worth mentioning over here on the daily time frame, if we do break below this 50 SMA, comes back inside of this flag, this channel right here, this bull flag may be void, and at which point I will simply reevaluate my position, and below all these moving averages, I'll probably start taking some bearish trades. Uh, this will be my trade plan for Thursday and Friday. Uh, we'll see what happens. Have a good evening and good luck.